साइबर सिक्योरिटी टीम इज अ कैटलिस्ट टू ड्राइव द चेंज बट द होल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लीडरशिप बिजनेस टीम्स सपोर्ट स्टाफ एंड ऑल द यूजर्स ऑल ऑफ देम नीड टू पार्टिसिपेट टू बिकम अ साइबर सिक्योरिटी मेच्योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन as technology are continues to advance and uh, more of our daily lives are spent online uh, the need to protect our personal uh, data or the even the sensitive information has become a top priority in 2023 a report stated that education sector was the most targeted cyber threats um, attack accounting to more than uh, 7 lakh incidents that had happened and the next to that was manufacturing which was about 3 and a half lakhs globally a uh, cyber security breach is a major uh, issue in today's time uh, we have with us someone who has spent three decades of his life building sophisticated cyber security solutions for organizations like infosys pwc hdfc banks etc a revered global leader who has brought best practices across sectors to ensure we are safe and you are safe from cyber attacks Vishal Salvi who is currently the CEO of uh, Quickil Technologies. Welcome Vishal to this episode of Learning Company. It's a great pleasure and a privilege to have you on this uh, episode. Oh thank you so much for having me and uh, I look forward to this conversation. Thanks thanks Vishal. Vishal you have been part of integral part of the IT industry for the first uh, almost 3 decades now. The journey would be very inspiring and are there something that you want to share along the journey of the last 3 decades? Yeah, sure, sure. Vinay, as luck would have it, uh, you know, just after Y two K, when I was uh, in SCB Standard Chartered, uh, we were doing a major restructuring, and I was offered the role of getting into. In those days, we used to call it IT security, and it just panned out that you know, from IT security to information security, and now cyber, it's been a twenty five years journey. Uh, so it's been very fascinating from that point of view that how the career has unfolded. I never thought, uh, you know, how. you know i would move from a it line to a cyber line and uh, and the fact is that you know i was lucky because i i was at the right place at the right time because the profession has evolved the problem statement has evolved and i think there is a significant value uh, that you can create for the ecosystem for the stakeholders uh, by doing your part you know in terms of protecting uh, the digital assets uh, it's an amazing journey vishal there are lot of eng professionals and uh, learners eng learners who want to be a cyber security expert and they all some of them think they are already there so what is your advice to them in terms of becoming one of the ex- cyber security experts so if you can share it with the listeners that would be great yeah i think it, i i really love love talking about this topic but you know one of the things that uh, strikes me the most is how uh, how important it is for us to coach them at the right time uh, because you know they uh, it is it will help them to navigate their career so well uh, if there is a coach available to tell them especially if we look at in the field of cyber security there are so many different options right you would want to look at in terms of governance risk policy management technology management line technical line in operations strategy organization change management So I think one of the things that I would advise any aspiring cybersecurity professional is to really spend identify a coach or a mentor and make them explain to you what are the different options that are available for you and then you can choose your path which makes you the most comfortable so at least for next 2 to 3 decades this is a very good profession to work for not just in terms of career growth but also in terms of value that you create for the society thank you so much for sharing that uh, vishal uh, i made a long list of questions to get some insights and understanding about the emerging trends in the cyber security space we'll try and make a quick fire round for you yeah yeah go for it thanks thanks vishal so my first question to you why do you think there is increase in cyber security or cyber attacks happening in the education industry specifically vishal see binay i think the the cyber security attacks are happening increasing in general okay not necessarily only on education industry and that is because of the way in which attack surface is growing you know we as we innovate and as we 
uh, add more and more solutions, technologies, like we have cloud computing, we have a virtualization, AI, huge amount of data. All of this is creating a significant amount of attack surface. And unfortunately, in cyber, in technology world, we actually therefore start introducing more vulnerabilities and more channels for attack. Uh, but that leads to a question. Um, let's say an institution or an organization gets under a cyber attack. What is the first thing that uh, they are supposed to do? See, I think the first thing is that, you know, you have to remain calm and not panic. Okay. Secondly, you know, what happens is that you need to isolate your system. Because, you know, it's very important to keep the state of your system the way it is. Because, you know, if you want to really understand what happened to you, you need to do forensic analysis. And you, sh you should ensure that you don't contaminate your evidence, uh, you know, for you to be able to do a proper forensic. So you need to isolate your infrastructure. The third part of it then is to really, if you have the team of experts within your organization, then I think you need to really start investigating. And in today's day and age, Vijay Vinay, the speed matters, right? Decision making of speed matters because if you are late by even 10 or 15 minutes, it can be catastrophic in terms of how your stakeholders perceive you. So you need to be, be clear in terms of your communication strategy. And then after that, it's all about uh, lessons learned and, you know, what you need to do. Uh, from that lesson learned so that you know this does not happen to you in future so stay calm isolate and act fast i think these are the three things that i could pick up uh, vishal this is mostly after the cyber attack but my question to you is a slightly a pre uh, preemptive question there as a cyber security officer how would you collaborate with an institution or an organization uh, so that we don't um, these kind of threats are uh, well managed or even uh, even before the attack happens what are the steps that we, we you think that an organization should take so i'll call out few important aspects of that the first thing is that you need to have a somebody who is accountable for driving cyber security within your organization number two you need to start from the top so you need to have your board and your leadership team onboarded and understand the risk that are there for your businesses the third part is then, given that you have somebody who understands cybersecurity, you empower that person to the, execute that program within your organization. In India, the piracy of a software or a piracy of the, or even a tendency to not to have an antivirus in your system can lead to a major breach and a lot of uh, privacy gets this one. Do you think uh, this has any relation to a larger cybersecurity attack? Um, in the organization uh, if you look at in us 50% uh, of the consumers use paid av antivirus on their computers in india that is 20% so we have a 30% gap so there is a awareness issue and and i think we need to do a lot to make people aware that you know from a consumer we are protecting your pc point of view we need to take ownership and you need to start configuring and installing the software so that you are able to protect it. So Capacity building is a very critical aspect, especially in the cyber security engine, and this will continue to grow. Uh, so what opportunities are available for a student of a cyber security? I think uh, capacity building is a very, very important aspect in today's world for cyber security. Right now, what has happened is that because of the uh, complexity of the tools that we have currently developed, we need people to be trained on understanding the tools. You need to make sure that the fundamental principles and knowledge of cybersecurity is taught at a very early stages of uh, this young talent. And my experience says that if you are looking at a post-graduation, you're already too late, right? So you need to embed this as a foundational element in your standard curriculums. We have been working with a lot of institutions. We also, as an organization, have lot of content around the cyber security of course both digital and the print but we also have a, a dedicated cyber security training programs that can be embedded into your normal um, in your degree programs or as a part of your curriculum or even if the students in the early years of their uh, studying if they want to focus on cyber security you have we have we do have a pathway program and and uh, it's right that the capacity building is most critical not just in uh, and especially with the Gen AI coming in, deep fakes and so on and so forth happening, I think it's most important that the people also spend some 
uh, have trained themselves um, into uh, the cyber security programs but how uh, vinay how are you finding the uptake from the students when you are uh, adding these in your curriculums so it's mostly towards the uh, higher education institutions uh, who will have to adopt this programs and say during your for three year program or a four year program you also have additional programming uh, languages and especially on the programs like cyber security or even in the gen ai or if somebody is doing a mechanical engineer uh, now the students are wanting to have additional certifications additional programs along with their regular curriculum uh, the uptake is happening but it i believe that this should happen at much faster phase and uh, and this will only help the students to be employable at the ta- at the end of their engineering degrees uh, is in the largest global ecosystem of cyber security how is it trending uh, not just in india and it's not particular to education industry but overall how is the, the ecosystem growing and how is the industry growing the cyber security industry overall is anything between 150 to 180 billion dollars and going rapidly towards 300 billion dollars right and every stakeholder academia uh, product vendors uh, service providers uh, the consulting uh, and advisory firm uh, researchers all of them have a role to play in terms of building uh, a very thriving ecosystem that's kind of end of this episode i sign off on this uh, learning episode thank you so much vishal uh, for sharing your insights thank you so much for having me and it was a pleasure talking to you today